super humbling that people were for a while, like months, watching and uh, and and being feeling connected with it. First at 11, an NBC10 exclusive one-on-one -on -one with Sunita Williams. We're speaking with her for the first time since she's returned from space. Thanks for staying up late with us. I'm Priscilla Casper. And I'm Colton Bradford. Now, earlier this afternoon, Williams and fellow astronaut Butch Wilmore spoke at the Johnson Space Center in Houston about their extended stay. And our Jeff Saperstone was the only Boston reporter there and got to sit down with Williams afterwards. He's joining us live there from Houston. Jeff, I'm sure she had a lot to say. Priscilla Colton, there was a wide-ranging discussion here at the Johnson Space Center in Houston. We had the chance to talk with her about the Red Sox, her hometown, and just what it was like to spend so much time in space. It's good to be home, but I can't wait to get up to New England. Can't wait to go to a Red Sox game. Sunita Williams is settling back down to life on Earth. The Needham native sat down with us in Houston in her first one-on-one -on -one interview with a Boston TV station since returning from her extended stay in space. Did you think there would be so much interest in this mission? No. <laughs> Wasn't thinking about like all of the people who are getting involved that would be like, you know, come home. You know, <laughs> you know that's really humbling. Williams and fellow astronaut Butch Wilmore's original eight-day mission turned into nine months after malfunctions with the Boeing Starliner spacecraft. Did you ever feel stuck? From my perspective, I never felt stuck. We always had a way home. Maybe it wasn't the best way to get home, right? But we always had a way to come back to Earth. While on the International Space Station, Williams did two spacewalks, conducted dozens of experiments, and spoke with students back at the elementary school that bears her name. I think I was very lucky to grow up there just to understand that there's a gazillion opportunities out there, and this one sort of fell in my lap. She's now hoping to pass on those opportunities to a younger generation of scientists and says there are lessons that can be learned from her extended mission. It's all about having a situation Understanding that, hey, maybe it's not the way we wanted it, but pivoting and just going with what you got and making the best of it. Since returning to Earth in mid-March, Williams spent time getting acclimated back to gravity. You get off the plane or whatever, and you're, you can't even, like, raise your head for the first, you know, hour. Like, oh, my gosh. And so my neck muscles for the first day were super sore as I, they were getting re-engaged. But she ran three miles yesterday. And maybe, just maybe, a bit more soon. I know the marathon is coming up yes. in Boston this next month. I wish I could be up there and do it, but I think I might have to wait a year. <laughs> you might do it next year. We'll see. We'll see. Oh. <laughs> no promises. No promises. Break some news here. <laughs> So can you believe that? After all of this, she might train for the Boston Marathon next year. Stay tuned for that, of course. By the way, she loves the Red Sox so much that when she was on the International Space Station, she actually did karaoke to Sweet Caroline with her fellow <laughs> astronauts. She said none of them were really great singers, though. Um, Liz, I mean, she is kind of a modern-day wonder <laughs> woman, Jeff. Yeah. Listen, she was up there for such a long time, right? I mean, we covered this thing from the very beginning. Did she say whether or not she wants to go back to space after all this? So she did say if she was asked, she would go back into space, wow. believe it or not. But she kind of left some room there to say, hey, I'm going to leave room for the younger generation to, you know, take that journey before I go back again. But she said, yeah, if I'm the last person they ask, sure, I'll go back up. Wow. Our Jeff Saperstone live for us in Houston, Texas yeah. tonight. Jeff, thanks for joining us tonight.